Hi, crafters. <laughs> oh, I had such a laugh. I made such a stupid mistake. <laughs> I thought I would show it to you. <laughs> but I'm waiting for people to come on live so I could show my stupid mistake that I made. <laughs> <laughs> oh, really? Sometimes I think, well, they call me a great designer, but when I see my own designs, <laughs> oh, hi, crafters. <laughs> I see six people are alive now, but I thought I would show you my stupid mistake. <laughs> Let me make you laugh. <laughs> I was looking for new ideas and uh, I had made a few different designs and then I thought how fun would it be to make a teacup gift bag or yeah, teapot gift bag. So I went designing and put it together. <laughs> Oh, I couldn't stop laughing at my own stupid mistake. <laughs> so I had to, to adjust a few things, but in the end it all came together. And um, yeah, <laughs> I made holes where there no, didn't need to be holes. I put the spout on the wrong side and I made the holes at the spout side the wrong ones because these are for the handle <laughs> but um i made a new one and i corrected all my mistakes that's why i sometimes make dummies of what i design so i can take out of out all the flaws that i make in my designs <laughs> but if you want it it now looks correctly so it's now looking like this and i will turn it um slowly <laughs> i didn't dress it up because i want you to see what you get if you buy the digital cut file it's not sold in um a cutting die set yet because i just two minutes ago finished it and put it in my etsy shop this uh thingy uh, tag thingy will not be in the cut file but what will be in the cut file are all the parts to make this gift box and it can open at the top so i did it with a, a closure with a magnet and um, it's not a very small box you can put a lot of things inside but why don't i see any responses of you let me see if i can open the chat box Ah, see, now I see your guys' responses. I thought it was so quiet. I'm sorry, guys. I need to see if I can adjust this. I don't know why I need to open a new fenster. <laughs> Hi to you all. Sorry, I now see all your... <laughs> Hi, Wendy. Hi, John. Hi, the Dicer. Hi, Heather. Hi, Rhonda. Hi, everybody. <laughs> So, uh, hi, Tracy. Hi, sweetie. <laughs> Hope you're doing well. <laughs> oh, I had such a laugh with my own stupidity. But the, the size that I made mine in is about a three and a quarter inch at the bottom. And at the top, it's two and a quarter inch. So, it's, I think, a fairly large gift box. And uh, it's not available in the die set yet, just because I just have it ready. And I adjusted all the stupid mistakes that I made. <laughs> oh, it still makes me laugh. But uh, yeah, I thought so too. I thought it was a fun one. And you can dress it up however you want. I added a tag like this. And I thought it would be fun. I, I roamed through my dice and I found uh, a die that I bought on AliExpress from a strawberry years ago. But that would be look lovely on the tag. Um, what I personally would do, if you want to dress it up, I would do it like this with a nice lace border around the edges and then also a lace border whoa, like this. And But I, I wanted to, to show to you bare, so you have an idea 
on what the bear box looks like. <laughs> so when you said that doesn't mean the base design, we would cut. Uh, sorry. So when you say that, does it mean the base design? We would cut those dimensions. Yeah, you can cut it in those dimensions if you want, but. Um, because it's a digital cut file, you can make it as big and as large as you want. When you want to make it bigger or smaller, just make sure you select all the parts in one go and then make them bigger or smaller. That's the only thing you need to do in order to make it as big or as small as you want. And will it be good size to match the teacup? Let me check, uh, Tracy. That's a good question. Let me check. Then I... I think I made mine a little bit smaller compared to the teacup because the teacup I have here. But yeah, the teacup is a little bit bigger, but you can, because it's a digital cut file, make it bigger, of course. But um, I didn't make them to be a set, if you know what I want, but of a, if you know what I mean. But yeah, it, it could be bigger. It that's That would not be a problem. So... <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Ribbon, Paper and Lace. <laughs> hi, Crafty Lady. Hi, sweetie. <laughs> Just stop by to say a quick hi. Hi, Craftaholic. I'm in the middle of a tidying cupboards with hobby. Oh, that's a great job. So best get <laughs> starting mothering. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> yeah, so you can make it however you want. One tip, if you attach the spout part, just put a little dab of glue on the top, make them stick, and then put them both in together. I think that's the most easiest way to get them nicely aligned. And for the handle part, it looks like this. I made it too layered. So yeah, and it's fairly large at the, at the inside. So this is what the inside looks like. And um, yeah, it's easy to put together. And I think it's fun to gift something cute and you can make it as big and as small as you want, of course. Hi, Susanna. Hi, sweetie. <laughs> I'm sneaking in between my online classes. Oh, that's great. I hope you enjoyed your online classes that I do. Where is the teacup die from? It would look great with my flowers. Wendy, the teacup die, this, die, this is available in a die set and it's in Bakey Cat store. So if you want to find it, you can find it over there. Uh, hi, Anturik. <laughs> hi. <laughs> uh, might have one, might have to make one match my teacup. You always welcome to make it uh, or to make one, Tracy. I'm happy to send you the file. That's no problem. And if you would be so nice to do a small tutorial about this, I think people will enjoy that as well. <laughs> I'd love to see your flowers. Yeah, I would love to see what she would make with it. Oh, Rhonda says, hi, Ben. <laughs> hi. hi, Rhonda. <laughs> okay, and I have new dice in from Andy's store. So, well, I have to teach them. <laughs> I teach German. Okay, okay. I need to see if I have the teacup die. Uh, yeah. She's meowing really hard. Roger. Can you see what's going on? Why is she meowing so hard? Come. Come. There are people who want to see you. Come. Why are you meowing so hard? I'm here. Oh, now they can see that you're a little bit of a troublemaker. <laughs> yeah, now you're a little bit of a troublemaker. Yeah. Buddies. <laughs> so I will go and show you the new dice. I think she just slept and when she's awake, she always wants to play. So <laughs> yeah, maybe, I don't know, Susanna, uh, but she just slept uh, a few hours and then she is fully um, how do you say Fully charged. <laughs> and then she's always a little bit of a handful, but I don't mind. I love her. So <laughs> thank you. Thank you, Rhonda. 
Okay, the first die set that I want to show you is this one. I will tilt my camera a little bit down because then I don't have to uh, hold it up so high. I made a few new bow sets. And the first one, um, people asked me to make bigger bows. And normally I make them small because I personally like small items and small dies, but that's something you would know by now. Uh, but I made them bigger. I, the first one I made is this one with um, a, a very nice bordered edge. But this time I added the separate dies that we normally use to cut out the middle part to the die set. So this way you don't have to cut them by hand. And I did that with all bow sets. The first ones that I designed, I didn't do that because I didn't think about that fact. But in these bow sets, I did it. And this bow, when assembled, will be about in inches, about four inches. So it's, I think, a very large size. Um, and I think it's fun for your bigger uh, boxes and gifts uh, to put on the bigger bows. So... Ah, oh, she looks similar to my bell. Ah, uh, thank you, Heather. <laughs> yeah, she is, she is a little furry. <laughs> and then I designed this one. And I designed it also with the extra layers. Let me take it out of the crinkling packaging. Um, this one is one that I designed a long, long time ago for Alina Cuddle. But... I don't design for her anymore, but people asked me if I could design this one in a bigger one. So this one is the same size. So when finished, it will be about four and a quarter inch. And um, it's the one with the hearts at the ends. And I also put in the extra pieces so you don't have to cut the layers. If you want to find these dies, where did I put the, oh yeah, the back side. If you want to find these dies, look in Andy's store under my name because um, he just put them all in his uh, store. I always rip those horrible bags. And because the smaller one with the dots wasn't available in a smaller die set, I also designed, so the first one that I showed you uh, is now also available in a small bow set so with the lovely detailed edges come on camera why don't you focus <laughs> i always tend to sing <laughs> and it has the back layer and the two middle layers so you don't have to cut those by hand and don't have to uh, cut the die set twice in order for you to get those layers <laughs> Hi, Shelly. Hi. <laughs> you caught me live. Okay. And now I have to show you something. For two years now, you were asking me, Nicole, could you make some animals? And hi, Susie. <laughs> and you know, I'm not great at making animals, but I gave it a try. So Please bear with me. <laughs> and I first wanted to make one of my favorite animals, and that's the seahorse. And what I did is I made a back layer, and I made this die. And what I did is I put all the separate pieces in one die. So this way you don't lose any tiny items, but you can build it up in any color you want. Just cut this one in uh, multiple colors, even if you want to make a rainbow from his belly or from his manes. Um, and then you can stack them and layer them on top of this one. So that's why I made the bag layer. See, oh, I was so hoping that you liked it. So I have another one, but I will show you in a second. But normally you see dies like this, and then you have to cut your own bag layer. And that's something I don't like a lot about those dies. I think make an extra die. It's not so uh, expensive to make an extra one so people can layer their colors exactly on top of this one. So that's why I made two. 
this you cut out of your colors, whichever color you want, and you layer them on top of this one, and then you can build it up however you want. So that's what I did. <laughs> I uh, thank you. I realized you have a lot of dice and I never seen them all yet, but was wondering if you ever made a garden swing for two, the kind that sitters face each other. Um, no, I didn't make any garden fences. Oh, uh, sorry, garden swings. Um, yeah, maybe I can look into that in designing one, Shelly. <laughs> okay, the next one. I will put all the links in the description box when I'm ready, but the next one I designed, <laughs> and it makes me laugh. When I was designing it, it made me laugh. How about a dragon? I think your seahorse looks awesome. See, you can do it. Yeah, but you don't know how much time it will cost me to make even one animal and make it look cute. Okay, the next one. I... Let me see if you can guess what it is. I think so, because the sentiment will give it away. But uh, I made two sentiments to go with the next one. And it says, oh, crap. <laughs> I was in a funny mood, sorry, <laughs> when I was designing it. Um, but I made a crap. <laughs> see, it has the back layer and a crap. And I made it so you can make the paws and the eyes and the mouth and the tongue in all different colors. So, and then you have the sentiment with the back layer that says, oh crap, like when you forget somebody's birthday or when somebody is sick or, you know, when to use these. And they fit both. So the seahorse and the crab fit perfectly on an A2 size card. I made sure they fit. So, <laughs> yeah, I thought it was so cute. The way he looked, uh, look out of his eyes. The look in his eyes makes you smile when you put it together. <laughs> it looks a bit like droopy. <laughs> so, and I put in an extra layer so you don't have to cut the back layer to, in order to stack all the items on top of each other. So that's what I did. <laughs> so I hope you liked my first two ever made animals. And when they will sell great, I'm sure the seller will ask me to design more, but <laughs> I'm a little bit afraid because they took me so long. <laughs> so I have the seahorse and the crab. I thought to start off with two, uh, sea creatures because it was summer and I think that's um, fun to have. <laughs> love uh, love having the back layer. See, Jens, I, I, me too. I only see those dice without a back layer and then I think, okay, but how do I stick all those tiny pieces in all those colors together? Just give us a back layer. <laughs> it makes life easier. <laughs> Uh, thank you, Jen. Thank you so much for ordering them. I love them. Well done yet again. Uh, thank you. <laughs> okay. And now I have something that I like myself a lot. Um, when it's summertime, I sometimes wear dresses be just because I like to wear dresses. But um, I'm all about ball gowns and stuff like that. So I thought I would make a pretty dress and I would make it into a shaker. So what I did is this is the back layer. On top of that, you have this layer and you see the clothing hanger that fits perfectly in between the two, how do you call that, shoulder straps? Yeah. So this uh, clothing hanger will fit perfectly in between. Then it stacks like this, but then the great part comes, I think the great part, it will be covered like this if you want. So you don't have to use this part, but I think that would make it pretty because your shaker material will then only be visible at the bottom of the dress. So that's why I designed it like this. And uh, the background dye is a perfect idea. Yeah, I, I thought so too. Thank you, Wandy. Thank you. I, I was so afraid that you guys wouldn't love it. <laughs> so... 
it's it's a dress you don't have to make in a shaker because if you leave this part out you can only do these two parts but that's why i added the third part so you could make it into a shaker and i wanted you guys to have a hanger that fits perfectly in between those traps <laughs> thank you rhonda <laughs> Crap is adorable. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Got to have this one. Uh, thank you, Ed Oliver. Yeah, you can find them in the store uh, from Andy under my name. So if you search under my designs, you will find it in his store. And of course, I will do a normal video later. But I always like to tell you what happened before or during me designing the dies and what my thoughts were. Then... Um, I believe a year ago, I designed two bumper cars for, uh, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, the KLJ UYP store. But people who like memory decks asked me if I could design one into a memory deck. So this one is way bigger than the other ones, but I designed it in, in a memory deck. I have made a back layer. I made the top layer. And I made the bumper so that fits perfectly on here. And then you can make it into a back layer or make it in 3D. But I think it's fun to have a bumper car in a memory deck. So that's why I designed the memory decks for the people who like the memory deck styles, of course. But it fits perfectly on top of each other. And you can make a tent and, and all kinds of things extra. But yeah, the bumper car was one of my favorite uh, personal favorite designs that I made. Sometimes it's fun when you design stuff and um, the end result is nicer than you could imagine. And then, yeah, people are going to ask for more of those. So this one is way bigger than the bumper cars because that was only this size and this bumper car is yeah, way bigger than the other one. So if you don't if you aren't into memory decks, you can cut off the memory decks part. That's why I added the bumper layers as extra. So you could cover the fact that you cut it off. So that's why, why I did it like that. <laughs> Hi, Martina. Hi. <laughs> you mentioned in your last post that you needed ideas 70s, 80s and 90s die. That's correct. I hope maybe you could do a Pac-Man character dies with little ghosts. Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking about it. I will discuss that. Let me write it down because I will discuss it with the seller. And if he is interested, I will make them. But I have only one question. What size do you want the Pac-Man dice to be in? The, so let's say the ghost. How big must the ghost become? Uh, Pac-Man icons. I have wrote it down. So great idea, Nicole. It's good to have the versatility. Yeah, I thought so too. Thank you, Raquel. <laughs> Thank you. And then I have two more to show you. Um, this one um, is more for people who like to do... Oh, I always have a trouble to think of the name. Um, not steampunk. Um, oh, I don't know the name. Come on. Yeah, it's a background eye. I can't think of the name right now, but it's a background eye. And I think a fun one, um, um, it's like a woven basket. If you die cut this one out, you will see that it gives you a woven basket idea. And um, it's I know it's for only a select a, a group of people but I personally like these dies as well just to make my backgrounds on my cards more interested so that's why I designed this one and it has um, yeah a, a basket a woven basket idea effect one inch ghost two and a half inch Pac-Man whoa okay that's big that's bigger than i thought one inch one inch ghost and uh two and a half inch pac-man i'm writing it down as good as i can 
<laughs> maybe all one plate so they can be cut all at once in different colors. Yeah, that would be an idea. Yeah. Yeah. That's something that's no problem. Hi, Susie. Hi. <laughs> I'm new. Where is Andy's store? Let me get a link for you. Uh, what's wrong with her? Why is he meowing so much? Normally she doesn't do that. I don't know. I have to check up on her. Let me. Oh, I think she wants to play Ben. That's why she meow meows so loud. I have to get a link for you guys, but I have to first put my AliExpress into the English, else I get complaints that people can't re <laughs> read Dutch. <laughs> Yes, I found the link and I will put the link in the chat box. Let me put it in the chat box. So this, the link that I put in, <clears throat> that's the link to Andy's store. There you can find them. I put in a direct link, but if you look on your uh, cell phone, it will be not so visible as on a desktop computer, but I will make sure when I stop the live stream to put all the links to all the dice that I show you in the description box below the video. It's something I can't do right now. That's why. Nice background for masculine card. Yeah, I think so too, Martina. Thank you. How do we search uh, for her on Amazon? Susie, I'm not on Amazon. I sell all the designs that I make to AliExpress sellers. And some of those sellers have an Amazon store. Only KS Craft and the KJUYP store have an Amazon store themselves. But most of them only sell my dyes on AliExpress or my dye designs. Sorry. Uh, and make a little bow. And if anyone wants to turn it into misap, yes, that's a good one. A bow. I will write it down. Yeah. A bow uh, for Mrs. Pac-Man. Yeah, I have wrote it down. Your kitty is beautiful. Uh, thank you, Susie. About two centimeters correct characters for the Pac-Man dice and even Space Invaders. Okay. Funny, my cat does that so when we open the blinds. <laughs> I think it's a lack of attention. I think that's the problem with uh, her right now. Um, I found a very teeny tiny die, and now I have to figure out where the die goes. <laughs> I will put it aside so I can't lose it. But And then the last one I want to show you is an A2 size uh, die set. And it looks like this, but wait a minute, wait a minute. What I did is because somebody asked me, I don't have panels so I can open the card in the middle. So what I did is I designed two panels that fit perfectly on an A2 size card, so a left and a right panel. And so your card can open in the middle like this. And I put in the extra layers so you could make your A2 size card very sturdy. I put in a hard fence, some flowers, and two butterflies that you can do on the opening so when you close your card, they will kiss. I thought that was a funny item to add and if you see closely, they fit perfectly in size, inside the A2 size card base. So this card will open in the middle and will make the seams perfectly uh, flat. So they won't be like stacked like this, but they will close like this. So touching each other. <laughs> yeah, I thought it was fun too. And I never saw a die set like this. And I thought that would be a great idea, especially to make it into an A2 size card. <laughs> Thank you, Jen. <laughs> Thank you. I'm getting ready to make an order from AliExpress, which I'm probably getting a few things. Does anybody know if they all ship in one box or all separate mail? Shelly, it depends. If you uh, order all at once with one seller, then they will ship it all together. If you order things from different sellers, you will get all different kind of shipments. But if you order a lot from one seller, you can ask the seller to put it into packages or, or something like that. That's no problem. But that's something you have to ask the seller. I only design the dies. <laughs> uh, thank you, Ingrid. Thank you. <laughs> this is a beautiful die set. Love it. Thank you. <laughs> 
Thank you, Shelly. I will buy a dress because it's wonderful. Ah, uh, thank you, Harisha. Oh, sorry, Hashira. Me and names. I'm sorry, sweetie, for butchering your name. <laughs> Pretty ordered too fast, low. Uh oh. <laughs> or even a box size card too. Yeah, you can even make this one into a box. That would be nice. There are options to do that. The first two animals are great. The back layer is perfect. Oh crap! Is my favorite. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I was. I had designed the crap. And then I thought, okay, I want to have a sentiment to go with it, but it needs to be a fun sentiment and not a sentiment that made, made me blush. So, and then I saw some where, oh crap, and I thought, that's a good one. So that's why I added it to the, uh, to the crap set. I will take it so you can see also the font because I didn't put them um long enough if, but see it says oh crap and i even did i believe you call it an exclamation mark in dutch it is uitroepteken <laughs> but yeah it's like this oh crap and you can put it uh, like this and then the crap in the middle there is space enough i made them perfectly fit onto an a2 size card and I put in the back layer because the letters aren't attached to each other. I thought it was nicer to do it this way. So, yeah, I hope you liked uh, the first two ever Nicole Ele <laughs> animals. <laughs> uh, thank you, Wandy. <laughs> Wandy, me too. I can never have enough butterflies. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, Danelle. Hi. <laughs> I have to go check back later, Nicole. No problem. Bye-bye, sweetie. <laughs> my husband says he can't afford you. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> tell, tell him I'm not for sale. Only my designs. <laughs> ben is not sick of me uh, until now. So <laughs> AliExpress have been putting all my orders in one package, even from different stores. Okay. But I think that's something that customs do. I noticed I one day I had it uh, happened to me as well. I got one big bag of different sellers. So maybe it's smart to order them a few days apart. I don't know when and how and why they do that. I have really no clue. I wish I knew, Donna. Yeah. Oh, I thought you said, oh, crap. No, <laughs> oh, crap. <laughs> Yeah, but that's because I'm not uh, used to speak English. I normally speak Dutch, but I did a B instead of a P. So <laughs> I kept it nice. <laughs> I love butterflies too. Yeah, and I thought to do the butterfly kissing. So when you close the card, I thought that was fun. <laughs> Something new that they started. Okay. Oh, crap would be a good one too. Yeah, but I thought, let me say it like this. I didn't have the nerves to do a P, so I did a B. <laughs> uh, sometimes, and it's just because I'm not familiar with making cards with English sentiments. Um, yeah, if they are stamps. And then I don't have to worry about how you write things. But when you design things, I don't know if it's acceptable to do a P instead of a B. And that's just because I'm not used to speak English. <laughs> oh, crap, would be cute for a beach card. Yeah, that would be a cute one. It's not too rude, just fun. Okay, see, and that's something I don't know. And when I design, I have to make a decision and then I always pick the safe way <laughs> it's just because i don't want to offend anybody <laughs> they say it will help prevent lost packages that show i took it okay just do it yeah i will i will um add it maybe to or i will send it to the seller with a p maybe stuff like that but then i have to see if the seller is willing to produce that 
one sentiment in a different way. You are so welcome to ask me any English question. Ah, uh, thank you, Deborah. Thank you. <laughs> Crab is nice for birthday cards in July. Yeah, you can always ask me. Thank you, Ingrid. See, you guys are always so helpful. So yeah, um, I will put all the links in the description box below to all the new dyes. Um, but give me a few minutes after I stop the live stream because it takes me about 20, 25 minutes to put in all the links. So then you can go back later to this video and then I will have them in there and I will do a normal video where I also put all the links in the description box. That's always something I do because not everybody is interested in looking at live streams. So yeah, I always try to make everybody happy, although that's not possible. But I hope you had a laugh at my stupid mistake with my <laughs> teapot box. <laughs> now it's corrected, so now it's okay. I have to see if a seller is interested in a box like this. But it will depend if you guys comment uh, underneath uh, the uh, video. <laughs> because I know some sellers will keep an eye on it. I like the oak crab because it doesn't does not offend people and get what you mean. Yeah, yeah, me too, Mary. But um, yeah, that's always a little bit difficult. So many people, so many opinions. And yeah, I always tend to go for the safe way. So I agree with you. I have an idea for you, Nicole. Maureen, if you have an idea for me, you can always send me an email. My email address is this. And uh, I will write it in the comment section. So if you want to send me your idea, go ahead. But please don't forget to add a picture if you have and the size you want a certain item in. Those two things are always really important for me to know. Nicole, could you design a push button telephone like they had in the 80s, a 3D one? Okay. I will see a push button tele. Uh, um paper sorry ribbons paper and lace could you send me an email with the type of telephone you like uh -huh. you're most welcome header thank you too i was thinking of a small die panel that has a window with opening shutter and a door with a hinge um, Maureen, if you can send me an email with a picture that makes clear to me what you have in your mind, that helps me make it the way you would like it. I don't say that it will be produced. It all depends if sellers like the idea too, but I can always give it a try. That's adorable. Or even a Rubik's Cube die set. Yeah, I didn't think that people would be interested in a Rubik's Cube. And that's why I didn't design it. But I could do one Rubik's Cube. Let me write it a Rubik's Cube. I'm always writing your ideas down. I, I ordered your butterfly set and the truck. Ah, oh, thank you. I should get them this week. I still can't find the die label plate that fits on the front of the boxes. Um, I'm trying to figure out what you mean with the die, die plate, the label plate. I'm really trying to dig into my mind, the paper jungle, but can you say where I show it? So maybe I can help you. Yes, my tea friends would like a little gift in that. Ah, thank you, Shelly. <laughs> the teapot box would make a cute Mother's Day gift and with some tea bags or... Yeah, I think so too. I will definitely send you a picture, sweetheart. Uh, thank you, Maureen. The paper jungle, when you are looking at the pictures of the dice, they have them on the... They have them on there, but they look like tags. Oh, yeah, that's right, Donna. Yeah, yeah. The seller made a, a mistake and, and made a picture making them look like tags, but they are not tags. He made a mistake, but it's just because the sellers don't craft themselves and then make mistakes in how to showcase the dice. So, yeah, that's true what Donna says. 
my record sleeves arrived in the end of last week. Oh, great. And I love the packaging. I also love the sea creatures and the sea related things. Seahorses and lighthouses are two of my favorite. Thank you for all you do. Uh, thank you, Leslie. And I do it with all my love. I really mean that. Nicole, I think you are the most creative person I have ever seen. Have a great day. Oh, thank you, Gavin. <laughs> Don't do that. You make me blush. <laughs> I think the dye plate was in a video. I just saw it earlier today. When you can put the tag like a dye onto the box. Oh, yeah, Deborah, it, uh, look in Andy's store because I know he has it in it, but he pick a, pick, make pictures lengthwise and make them look like tags. But don't be alarmed, it's the correct set. He only took a wrong picture. And I asked him to change the picture. And now I'm a little bit shocked that he did still didn't do that. Wishing you and Ben a beautiful evening. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you so much, Ma. And have a nice day to you too. And thank you for always joining my live streams. The cut the piece fits. Yeah, let me see if I can find the link for you yeah i still have it open so i can give you the link but i have to open the chat box in an other way than normally um yeah deborah i put the link into the description box yeah that's what they do at customs yeah who sells the butterflies you mean these all the dice that I showed you in this uh, video are sold by Andy Store. So there you will find them. Bye for now. Bye, Heather. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to go, sweet people. I'm going to see if I can make pretty pictures of my new box to go into my Etsy store. And I will see if I can find all the links to the items that I showed you in this video. Thank you for joining me. Have a really nice day to all of you. And um, see you soon because tomorrow I will get new dyes in. Bye. <laughs>